If you've worked with Power Query for any amount of time, you'll know that comparing against a different row is really difficult to do. So in this week's episode of Monkey Shorts, I'm gonna show you a cool trick that actually performs really well that makes it easy. So let's jump over and take a look at the data. So what do we have? We've got some apple varieties here, and then we have apples. Now I need apples to be filled up next to these apple varieties. The problem is, it's got numeric data here. There's really nothing for me to key off. And I can't use the word because I also need to check for pears and oranges. So let me show you this cool trick that we have here. The first thing we're gonna do is add an index column from zero. Now, if you've ever written a formula to compare this using index minus one, that is not what we're doing here. That performs horribly on large data sets. Don't do it. Instead, add another column from one. And now, you're gonna do a little black magic. We're gonna to go to home, merge queries, and we're gonna merge a query against itself. And we're gonna compare index one to index. We'll say okay. And that pops out a nice new table here. And if I take a look at my apples row, what you'll notice is that it actually gives us the values for the next row with equals six and seven. You can see those here. So that's pretty cool. And if I go and expand this now, the only thing I actually need is the sales value. Now, notice that I've got a bunch of equals here. I'm gonna go copy that from the preview. And now I'm gonna write a little bit of conditional logic. So we're gonna call this column class. And basically what we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna go and check if sales one equals, and I'm gonna dump in these equal signs. And at this point I get an error because this is actually expecting that I'm writing a formula here, even though you don't wanna do that in this little tiny box. So we're gonna do the classic cell trick here, put an apostrophe in front of it to turn it to text. If it does equal all these equals, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the value from the product column, which hopefully will be apples in this first case here, and if it doesn't, we're gonna to choose to put in a null. We're now gonna say, okay, and there we go. We got apples on the next line, we've got pears. So we've extracted these out into their own column now. So it's super easy to right click and fill these up. Oops, it is at least if I go and actually hit the command properly. There we are. Now the important thing that you wanna do at this point is you wanna always make sure that you filter and get rid of the row you use for your conditional logic. That's gonna eat that one away because now in order to get rid of the rest, it's very, very simple. I just go and unfilter in this case, the nulls from this column, I'm now down to what I need for my data set. And from there, the last thing I need to do, class, product, sales, I'm gonna grab all those, holding down my control key, right click, remove other columns, all the temp columns are gone, and I've now extracted my classes to go with the individual products as well. So there you go, cool trick, merging tables against self, black magic stuff that's very, very awesome. Thank you for watching this episode of Monkey Shorts. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to click on the Skillwave logo on the bottom left in order to subscribe to our channel. Or if you'd like to see more videos in the series, click on the playlist tile on the right. And if you'd like to get more comprehensive training, you should definitely check out our website at skillwave.training.